What's up, family? It's me, your boy, Urban Sports Guru. I just wanted to give a quick recap from what I saw tonight, that Kawhi Leonard situation. I mean, they booed him crazy. They booed him crazy, and they was calling him a traitor, all types of shit. And every time he touched the ball, and the crazy shit, what I'm seeing is, the problem is, I think Kawhi has to step up and say something. Nobody knows what is Kawhi's point of view on this. That's the problem. Because you got a first-class organization, at least seemingly first-class organization, like San Antonio Spurs. Nobody leaves the Spurs in their prized possession. Kawhi Leonard, who they did not want to trade, did everything to get the fuck out of there. And nobody really knows why. Only people... Every, we all just speculating, you know, uh, they make not misdiagnosis injury. I mean, go through the series of events. They had a team meeting, just the players, just the players where they hollered at him like, yo, dude, what's up? So his own teammates don't even know what it is. For the most part, like, Kawhi got to speak up, man. He has to speak up because if they did him wrong. Then the fans should know. And he should be getting more credit and more respect. If they did him dirty. The fact that he stayed quiet. I understand he's not a talkative guy. But if he, if they did him dirty. He got to speak on that. He got to speak on that. Just to, just to the other players around the league. No. This is the fuck shit that's going on over there. But the fact that he's not. Is making him look like. He just wanted to be in L.A. And he basically just decided to be a dick to make it happen. That's what it looks like from the outside looking in. And I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that I'm wrong because I like Kawhi Leonard. I'd love to see him in a Nick uniform next year. Shit. But let me hear y'all thoughts. Let me see what y'all think about it. It's your boy, Urban Sports School. Like, subscribe, Instagram, Facebook. I'll let your boy salute.